All right, y'all, we back with another Jujutsu Kaisen Phantom Parade video. And as you know, the game has been out for about like 10 months-ish, right? So I thought this would be a good time to actually discuss about it. Two months from now, we do have anniversary, right? What could the anniversary characters be? What could the theme be? All that good stuff. So today we're just going to kind of like predict a little bit and see what are the options and things that could possibly be released for the anniversary. So this is uh, the timeline of the actual game since its release. And I'd have to say, just judging based off of everything that has released, they've been very consistent with the actual timeline. Like everything is re relatively similar to the actual storyline of the series itself. So we got in all these characters in order. They've been very consistent on keeping everything in order. So as you can see, this is where we started. If you watch the anime season two, part one with uh, Gojo and Geto. So we got those as characters. And then on the next page, you'll see that the, we got uh, Toji, which is also good because people were also hyped for Toji being in the game. Keep going, right? And yeah, they've just been very consistent on what they've been releasing and they've all practically been in order, right? I mean, granted, not the fillers, but you know, and then we got Yaga and uh, what's his name? And then we keep going, keep going. And then we got Nanami, right? So Nanami was like the more last character that was relative to the actual storyline. Not really so much as Maki. Maki was more of like a, a filler event, right? For dancing amongst the flowers. But this is basically showing off the skill of Nanami. Uh, and Nanami is absolute Chad. You know, we already seen the scene with him where he beats the hell out of that other dude. So bit Chad. And then, you know, of course, until the faded moment. We only have about two months left, as I mentioned earlier in the video, and I just kind of want to predict and have to make some predictions, right, on some of the characters that could be coming in the future, whatever, and all that stuff. Like, literally from now until anniversary and at anniversary, the characters that we'd be getting. So this one's actually going to be from a leak that we've gotten a way long time ago. I've covered his leak literally when he was first initially shown, which was kind of crazy that we even had a leak at this character that was this far into the story. Now... When, the, when we got this leak, roughly around that same time, we were literally still in the anime, and the anime was just now fighting... Uh, it was just now Itadori fighting Mahito. We didn't end up getting him at that current time. But now, as we are in the timeline of events with the current game and all that, and we're starting to get into the Shibuya, uh, you have characters like Mahito, this Mahito, right? Which is part of the Shibuya arc. This one, as you can see, is the one that when he was in the subway station fighting Itadori, literally going all out versus him and everything. Well, all out, I quote. Okay? He's definitely going to be a character that's going to be releasing along the way. I would love for him to be an anniversary unit, but it doesn't seem very likely to me because, of course, we'll get into that a little bit later. But this Mahito, I kind of have a feeling that is going to be released a little bit soon. Uh, it could be next month, it could be, you know, maybe in a month and a half, but I definitely feel like this is going to be a character that they will release before anniversary, right? Because the characters that I think that are going to be the anniversary units are going to be way more hype, and they're literally right after this part. So I think this is going to be a character they're going to be releasing along the way. Next up, we have Naobito Zenin. Now, however, he's not going to be an anniversary character. There is that quite possibility that he could be a character on the way that they decide to release. Now, however, I don't think he's super popular or anything. I think they kind of do give love to all the characters in the actual series. They, they kind of give even like the less popular characters some love as well. So that's what I kind of like about the game. Uh, I would not be surprised if he was also a character they decided to drop in between. They could even drop him later as well, because I, like I said, I don't think he's super popular, but I just figured I'd mention him as a possibility of being a character that might come along the way before actual anniversary. Next up, we have Mei Mei. So, Mei Mei, of course, this character is going to be coming before the anniversary. There's no way in hell they do not release this character to absolutely drain all of our pockets. I, listen, when I tell you, I'm not really like a person that is like, attached to like waifus or whatever in games and like shows and stuff like that but when i tell you that Meimei had like awakened something in me i was not joking bro did like listen Meimei is about the only character like the only female character in uh jujutsu kaisen that I actually even like right <laughs> now i don't know what it is it might be her demeanor but like i just i just like this character especially the, her weapon her weapon i love her weapon it's like big ass fucking hatchet you know just slapping shit with it it's like like what the hell is there not to like so i, I love that i'm i'm always a fan of like big great swords big axes all that good stuff because i'm a fire emblem player so I, I love those types of things so for me she's definitely gonna be one of those characters i want to pull for but i know for a fact like 
on god they're gonna release this character before the actual anniversary because they're gonna want to drain our pockets there's no way in hell they don't release her before then i wouldn't be surprised if she was about two or three weeks before the actual anniversary this character so many people will absolutely simp for this character it's just like this is a no-brainer this character is definitely coming out before anniversary definitely not for anniversary because she's an easy way easy access to because anniversary characters they, they're gonna get pulled on no matter what because it's the anniversary but for her she's she's like she's so popular that you could just put her before anniversary they'll pull for her and then they'll pull on anniversary too it's like double the profit so she's definitely gonna be a character before anniversary and she's definitely gonna be one i'm gonna be pulling a hell, a hell of a lot for her. when i literally started phantom prey i literally told myself when they drop Mei, Mei i am going to five dupe her but uh probably not on jp because i think i am going to be making global my main so i'm going to be focusing more on that rather than the jp side but of course i'll still be playing jp so i can get like the newest information in that and then obviously transmit it to the global players so they can have a uh, you know an idea of what's to come right so yep may may definitely gonna be a character before anniversary next up we have toji fushiguro obviously we already have a toji but as you know in the shibuya arc itself we did get another toji this is him resurrected uh, of course we're gonna get him as a character now do i know when probably not but i kind of want to say that it's going to be before anniversary as well because he is also another popular character that that people love and you know the scene with him fighting and all that good stuff like literally tearing through everything and destroying Dagon and all that and him obviously popping out through the you know the domain thing into the domain like that that, that was insane you know like it was just like he just popped out of nowhere like ready to kill so absolute chad and yeah like i said just popular character and there's no way that they don't put him he he's gonna be coming more later like like no matter what he's coming this this for a fact is he's coming again it's going to be either before anniversary after anniversary okay so that's toji right uh there's one that i didn't put on here that i'm going to actually talk about but first let's go to it real quick so we have choso right so choso is definitely a popular character because if you haven't seen the anime there was a scene between him fighting Itadori that was so insane and so well made that like I, I feel like a lot of people had eyes on that scene itself that he just got gained a lot of popularity along with Itadori of course the, that that scene was just absolutely spectacular he's definitely going to be some character that's going to be coming in the future but since he's more like how do I put it? he's more flexible he doesn't necessarily have to be before anniversary or even at anniversary he could be after as well because he does kind of near he's kind of around that part as well even near the end of it i just don't know when he's actually gonna come i just thought i'd mention him just because it's choso bit goat right uh who else was it let me get to the next person all right so the next three characters i'm actually gonna be talking about are characters that are probably going to be the anniversary characters themselves right so first up we have kenjaku of course kenjaku is the primary antagonist of the actual series uh, he's been, you know, doing all the plotting all these nefarious schemes versus the Jujutsu Kaisen Sorcerers and all that. So, I mean, it would only make sense that they would make him an uh, anniversary character. Keep in mind that he is also a character that we haven't actually gotten yet. I'm talking about Kenjaku himself, not Geto, because the two uh, Getos, we already have two Getos, but we have zero Kenjakus. So we have the Geto from uh, the movie, Type-0, or excuse me, not Type-0, but Zero. And we also have the Geto from his younger days with gojo right so of course we do not have a kenjaku version but you know basically the ones with the scars on his head definitely i would not be surprised if he was an anniversary character I, some people may not want him as an anniversary character but personally myself i definitely want him as an anniversary character and i mean he's the, the guy literally there is literally a menace so for me he's definitely i feel like he's definitely gonna be an anniversary character but there's gonna be three other characters as well that i want to talk about and you know there's possibility that they themselves might be a little bit different right and so so it's like there's just so many different options so many different good options all right so let's move on to the next character all right next up we have this next character now of course imagine having an anniversary without actually the character that literally brings them one of the most monies and revenue and everything right so the character is gojo right as you know, we already have so many Gojos. We literally have three Gojos already, but I would not be su uh, surprised for them to release a fourth Gojo. Now, you might be wondering what kind of Gojo could they release around the, you know, anniversary? Well, there's actually two different choices, right? So for one, we do have the static version, right? The one that's basically <laughs> going crazy as hell. He's literally on a high. So 
there's that version but then the other gojo that i actually would want to talk about is the one that i actually think they're going to release for anniversary is the one that practically obliterates everybody literally kills hanami by just walking up to her this gojo was an absolute mad mad lad in this scene bro like he was just killing everything on site this was him like at his peak of course in the series right like him actually actually needing to try and do something right and him actually destroying everything and all that i would not be surprised if he was the you know person like to be released on the anniversary like like look at him bro he literally is just walking up to shit and just fucking destroying it right because of his ability right so it's like there's no way that they don't decide to release a gojo on an anniversary he is a hype character no matter what situation he's in it and and like this scene itself already speaks a lot of volumes definitely going to be one of the characters that they decide to release for anniversary uh i do have a feeling that anniversary is going to be cut into three parts so there's probably going to be three characters but you know i did talk about kenjaku earlier but i wasn't entirely sure on kenjaku but he is the primary antagonist, so I just kind of felt like he needed to be there. But there's so many other hype characters they could release for Anniversary that I don't know if he's going to make it. But, you know, there's going to be four characters, but Gojo is definitely going to be one of the Anniversary characters. I, I feel like I have no doubt in my mind that he will be, right? Right, so next up, it's as you guessed it, it's Sukuna, right? Literally going to be a year soon, and we still haven't gotten a Sukuna character, right? Why is that? Because they're obviously going to save it for such a, a huge celebration. Because as you know, Gojo and Sukuna are probably the, like, the most powerful sorcerers uh, currently. And he's practically like like next level. And, and if you read the manga, you would know, right? He's practically next level. So it's just like, you can't really say that this character isn't worthy of an anniversary. He literally is. He is, he, if you were to say anniversary, he is him. He is anniversary, right? This character has to be the anniversary unit. There's no way that you go into the Shibuya arc and you do not release Sukuna, bro. Like Sukuna, like he literally obliterated like ha like the entire city. He literally destroyed Jogo. He 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 was still fighting everybody. He was just going through them like they was flies. He was just swatting them all out of the way, bro. Like he he's like, bro, you don't know what you're doing. You have no chance, bro. Just stop. He was just clapping everybody. There's no way they don't release him. Now, this is probably the version that it's probably going to be. It's probably going to be this one. This, the one that's, I think this is when he was fighting Jogo, right? Of course, they're going to release this version. And I think, I think there's just no way to not release him. And if they're going to release him, they're probably going to release that Gojo too before he got sealed. And then they're going to release either Kenjaku or Mahito. It's up to them. But I, it's definitely going to be a three-part anniversary. And it, it just wouldn't make sense not to release Sukuna at the anniversary. Because, like, he's an absolute powerhouse. He's super popular. It's, it's like, it's the easiest way for them to make money. Like, you have Gojo and Sukuna. Those are, like, the, the biggest money makers they have in its entirety, right? It's just, like, it's not, it's a no-brainer. These are the characters that you're definitely going to want to have for an anniversary. So, I definitely feel like he's going to be an anniversary character. Him, along with Gojo, and then one other character where... It may be Mahito or Kenjaku, or they might just release, just keep it a two part anniversary and just have Sukuna and Gojo and then decide to release those other characters as like maybe free to play characters or maybe right after, like, like right after the anniversary or even before the anniversary. Who knows? But other than that, that was kind of like my prediction of what they were going to release for the actual anniversary and characters, of course, along the way to, you know, drain your pockets, of course, naturally, right? Uh, yeah, Gojo and Sukuna definitely sealed at the top for me. I, f I have a really good feeling that it's going to be them. I mean, everybody would assume that naturally. It's just like these characters are just that good and they're just that powerful and popular. It's just like there's no reason for them not to be there. So, yeah, uh, of course, be you guys, you're free to, you know, jump in in the comment section below and kind of share your thoughts on what might be the anniversary characters, you know. So this, these are just predictions. It's just speculation. None of this is actually true. It's just things that you would kind of like suspect based on the timeline of the game. So, you know, just educated guesses, I guess you could say, right? So I just want to, you know, see everybody else's thoughts and maybe there's something I haven't taken into consideration or anything of that. I, I mean, there is some other things that they mentioned, like Jogo and all that, but like it's Jogo. Who the fuck cares, bro? He got obliterated. He got be swatted. You know, it's just like it is what it is. Anyways, yeah, appreciate you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.